and uh, thank you for joining in and watching the replay. I'm just waiting for people to show up for now. But meanwhile, let me tell you about myself. I'm Charlotte from London Art Nanny, and I, I run art classes under London Art Nanny in London. And I also run private art classes online over Zoom. And today we will be painting a seascape, as I promised one of my, my uh, viewers. Let's see if they're coming on. <clears throat> so we will be painting on this type of paper. It's called mixed media paper. And it is by this brand. Doesn't have to be this one, but this is quite a good quality that I do recommend. And then we are using watercolors, acrylic paints, and also if you have poster paints, you can use them. This is just Crayola kids paints. So whatever you have at home, grab that and let's get started. I don't really want to start that much on the painting before people come on though. So let me just chat with you guys for a minute or two until we start. Um, this is a quick sketch of be painting you won't be painting that part but the sea and I've done quite a few of the sea paintings inside this sketchbook so just uh, practicing how to paint the wave and yep let's see where's the last one? Oh, this one I will be posting a tutorial about how to paint this painting next week, probably on Wednesday. So uh, this one, I followed another tutorial on YouTube and I really, really love painting the sea. So I'm also gonna share a tutorial about that. But in this session today, it's gonna be a little bit more kid friendly because this is a live event for families. So all of you guys, uh, I hope that your kids are joining in as well. Hi, Jessica. Welcome, welcome. I hope that Riley is joining us today as well. Riley, are you watching? I hope you're, you have your brushes ready. And I was just talking about um, different sea paintings that I've been making inside my artist book and just practicing waves as I come from an island myself and I've I was brought up on the sea, on the sea, on the seaside, on the coast side. I just love painting um, the sea. And I know if Caleb is watching, Caleb, I know that you, um, I know that you, Caleb, love the sea as well. So that is ship as well. So let's see if you are joining. Is Caleb watching yet? It's Jessica's turn to paint today. Ah, oh, okay. Well, I look forward to seeing how your your painting will turn out. Jessica, do you like painting the sea? Have you done that before? I know Jessica is also very creative and I've seen a few of her paintings, so it's fun to see that you are um, joining us and painting with us today. I hope the image is somewhat clear. I'm just checking. Yes, I am on flight mode on my phone, not using Wi-Fi on any other devices because we had problems with YouTube and the lives a couple of times. So I hope the image is clear. And remember guys, there is a live chat on the side. So if you're watching, I would love to see who's here. And if you have kids that are painting along, do let me know in the chat box how old they are so I can take it in consideration. We will, um, we will be doing this quite simple. And I always take super long to paint. I mean, I can paint for, for hours. This one will be around roughly one hour. But if you finish before me, don't feel like you have to sit around, do your thing. I use painter's tape to tape it up. And it also keeps the paper straight and it leaves a nice little white frame around it. Let's see who else we have here. We've got uh, Charlotte from Mommy Cleans. Mila is here painting with you, that's fun. Hi, Simone, hi. 
Um, Emma as well, hi. Here to run whilst I'm working. Emma, you're at work today, okay. Well, glad to see you joined us anyway. I am filming the kids paint for a video. Oh, that is so nice. So Caleb and Neva are probably joining us as well, I'm guessing. I was just telling everyone, Caleb, that I found this little guy in my, in my book, in my artist book, and I glued this one in for like over a year ago. But it reminded me of your hair from the picture that you sent in last week. I loved your paintings, and thank you guys so much for sending in your pictures afterwards over on Instagram at LDN Art Money. So today I promised Caleb that we will be painting sea and ships and whatnot. So I just did done a quick sketch and then we're gonna continue from here. So guys, do you have your papers ready and your brushes? Jessica is saying, yes, I'm going to have to pop off but I'll leave to run for you guys. Okay, that's okay. Thank you for taking part anyway and hope that you get something out of it. Let's see, we've got seven people watching. Hi, everyone that hasn't had said hello yet in the chat box. I'm gonna start with, let's see, shall we start with the sea or the, I think we'll start with the sky. So we come from here, we'll paint the sky down to the horizon and then we'll paint the sea down to the beach. So I am gonna say, um, he said, that is awesome. Yes, Caleb, I love the sea as well. I was just sharing how much I love the sea. So I mentioned before you guys came on, hi, Neil Art, thank you for joining. I mentioned that I will be using watercolors and also uh, acrylic. You can see this is quite well used. I need to buy another one actually, because it's almost over. But yeah, so I'm gonna use layers and paint quite a few layers on top of each other. But I'll start with a rough sketch. So let's see that I don't dip the brush in my coffee. And I will be painting the sky down to around here. So first make a line for the horizon. There we go. Can you see that? It's bad. And then I'm taking a bigger brush and I'm adding some blue paint from the top, like that. And this I'm gonna spread out with some water. Now because the paper is standing up, it's not down on, a, on the table, it might be running a little bit. Well, I'll try to make it not to run too much. There we go. And then I'll add some water to it to blend it out a little bit. And you remember last time when we made the, the landscape from the park, I also started off with making blue from the top and then we made yellow and orange. But today I'm actually gonna use pink. Hey Viro, thank you for joining. We got eight people watching now, that's so fun. I hope you guys are painting and getting creative together with me as well. And also remember to share your artworks afterwards. So now I'm adding pink down from the horizon. My brush still has a tiny bit of blue in it, so it will blend in quite nicely. Like that. And yeah, the first layer I'm doing quite mild, so I can correct it as I go along. Viro, are you painting or drawing with us today? Or are you taking a break from your creative work at the moment? So there we go. I'm gonna add this one a little bit higher still, like that. And I'm not really a big fan of a white base. I like to cover it, cover the white quite quickly first so that it doesn't blind me. Do you know when you start a painting, sometimes it feels like the white in the canvas or on the paper, it feels like it's blinding. I don't know if that makes sense to you, but that is why I like to cover the white as soon as possible and then add layers on top of it. So that is more or less the sky. I am sure that I'm gonna dip my water, my brush in the coffee soon because I keep going that way. Should probably move it a bit. 
Anyways, that is the sketch for the sky. Blue, pink, and then it turns a little bit towards purple. And then I am going to take some white paint. This is just normal poster paint. And then add a little bit of blue to it. And I'm going to cover the whole C as well because I just want to get rid of that white and then add layers on top of it. Mommy Cleans is saying, yeah, Mila says she doesn't want to draw the C. She wants to draw you. Oh, bless you, Mila. You're so sweet. <laughs> if you draw my picture, I will be honored. And if you actually do that, you have to send it to me and I will post it on my Instagram because that is too cute. Sometimes the kids in my art classes will uh, draw pictures of me and give it to me at the art classes. And it's just too adorable. I love that. Thank you so much, Mila. I would love to see that picture. So now what I'm doing is, and of course, if you feel like painting something else, paint something else. This is just what I'm doing and it's just one example, but always use your own imagination as well. And if you want to do what I'm doing, go for it. So I'm adding some light blue that will cover the whole sea. And then we're gonna add to it later on. So you see, it's kind of easier to see how the picture will come together once you get rid of that white. Now, on this side, we will have the beach. Varo is asking, are you creating art at the moment? Oh, he's asking Neil. Yeah, Neil, are you painting? Uh, Varo is taking a break on the backyard. Is it sunny where you are, Varo? I think you're in, uh, in Indonesia. Somewhere around Asia, I'm not exact. I think it was Indonesia, right? I think so. Um, okay, I think I need to slow down a bit. I'm getting so excited with this painting that I'm kind of just speeding up my, my speech a little bit too much. So let me calm down a little bit. Let's see who else we got here. Smart Needle Crafts, hello. Thank you for joining. I hope that you're joining in with some painting today. Yes, Indonesia. Is it sunny where you are? <clears throat> it's very sunny in London for the fifth week now. Can you believe that? Anyways, back to the painting. To make sand, many, many, many kids, when they paint sand, they add simply just one shade of yellow. Now, let me tell you something, a secret that many of your friends might not know, okay? Yes, we do take yellow. So we take a tiny bit of yellow and then here into this yellow I'm going to add some bright pink and mix it up. So it's almost like, well there's many types of different skin colors but it's almost like my skin color quite a little bit pale, right? <laughs> Peachy pale, that's my skin color. And I'll mix this one in to make it like more or less like this kind of shade. So it's not exactly yellow, it's a little bit peachy. And then we are going to paint the beach down here. So we're going side to side. And you see that that is quite a realistic sun shade. And you see that all of these colors are quite bright still. So I've added a lot of white to all of these colors. We got 14 people watching right now. Thank you guys for joining. If your kids are painting with me, do let me know in the chat box so that I can take it in consideration. Let me know their names and how old they are. Oh, and now I can see that Calais has joined as well. Hi, C9 Calais. Thank you so much for joining today. Thank you for sending in your pictures after last week's class. I love seeing your pictures, Calais, and I posted it on my social media as well. So fun that you're taking part again this week. So now I'm spreading this sand shade all over. And you know if you add a little bit of water, if you're using normal paper, don't add too much water because it rips very easily. But if you're using thicker, like watercolor paint, uh, paper, you can add a bit of water so that the paint runs a little bit more smoothly. 
And now because I'm using painter's tape, it doesn't stick as strongly as just normal tape. But that is so that the paper won't rip. Now closer to that C, I'm gonna add, I'm gonna leave a little bit of white and I'm gonna put that one up a little bit like that. So you see how this is coming together now. Theo and Tindra are painting as well. Hey Theo and Tindra, how go there? Honey, eat, honey, I think you will get a new water fire also. Have you got it now? I think it's a good idea. My mother tongue is Swedish. Theo and Tindra are my, my uh, niece, niece and nephew. They're twins and they live in Finland. So fun to see that you guys are joining as well. And... Now that this paper is getting wet, it's kind of... Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to add some of this tape on top of it. I don't want that to be falling down while we are painting. I think it's because I don't have on the sides. It's a little bit annoying, but let's just stabilize it with a bit of tape from there. Nothing that we can't fix. Yes! Ni har fått vattenfärg. Vad roligt det är att inte... Thea and Tindra are super creative and I see them creating lots of fun stuff. I saw them painting Easter eggs and they made the Easter bunny. Thank you for sending in the Easter bunnies last week. That looks super cu cute. But now, let's see. So, for the horizon, I think I'm gonna add a little bit stronger pink. And... Yeah, so now we got the background, so now we can start building on top of this painting and adding layers and layers like that. Looks quite neat, doesn't it? What do you think? Now I'm adding a little bit of white on top of here to blend it in a little bit and make it look quite natural. Today before class I was actually listening to Moana quite a few times because uh, I don't know if you noticed, but the picture in Moana on the video where she's singing this song is so gorgeous. <clears throat> and she's standing in front of the sea and she's singing. Now the song is copyrighted, so I won't play it for you guys, but I'm sure that most of you know the song that Moana is singing in front of the sea. And I just find that scene so gorgeous, so, so pretty. Now I'm adding a little bit more blue from here and blending it in again. Layer and layer on top of each other to make it look realistic. As realistic as possible. Without, without aiming for perfection. Just adding a bit of color like that. Now I think that we could add Adding white in the middle again, just like we did last week. We added white in the middle to make a realistic sun, not sun, um, sky. <laughs> My words today, hey? And to build upon this sea, we need to add a little bit darker blue. Now, I'm not sure if I should add acrylic or maybe add some of this blue for now. So darker shade of blue, and then you can make small lines for the waves. So I'm making a little bit bigger ones here, closer by. Just waves like that. And these ones will be blended in afterwards as we go on, and add layers and layers. And Theo and Tindra, you see a lot of sea all the time, because you live close to the sea. So... Let's see if you can, maybe you can paint how it looks like from, from the summer house. You can add the islands to the sides. And let's see who else we have here. Esli, hi, thank you for joining. Thank you so much, Neil. He's saying colors combination, fabulous. Thank you so much. I'm actually gonna take a smaller brush now to see if I can add some waves. Is the image okay? Can everyone see me clearly or is it is it blurry like last two weeks ago? I hope that you can see me because I've turned everything else off 
and just giving you all of the Wi-Fi right now. So it's smaller brush. We are making lines like that. And then I'm layering it out with lighter blue and darker blue. And you can decide what you want to add to your scene. If you're going to add um, ships or if you're going to add maybe some fish jumping up or what else could we add to the scene? Thank you, Sina. It's clear. Thank God. That was so stressful. <laughs> I am very happy to hear that. That really makes me smile right now. I had art classes. So I run Zoom art classes online for kids. And I had a class earlier this morning. And the, the image was super clear and super bright and no hiccups. So let's hope that it will stay that way. Now I'm adding more dark blue here and there. I think I'm gonna add the sun here in the middle, so I'm not making the darkest blue around there. Just here for the sides. And the thing with painting the sea is that it's not so precise. It's not like you're drawing a face and you measure everything exactly. You can just play around with the colors a little bit and see what it turns into. And uh, it's the same with clouds as well, like they can be any shape. So don't take any pressure on making the perfect picture, just play around with the colors a little bit. And if you don't have white, if you're using water paint and you don't have white, you can just add darker and lighter blue and that will be fine. So I'm gonna add a little bit more blue to the front here. Here and there, the small lines like that. There we go. And someone asked me last week if, um, uh, how to send in the images if you're not on Instagram. So that you can also, if you want to be part of the weekly show and tell, you can also send it in to my email, which is londonartnanny at gmail.com. I'll post that in a comment below afterwards as well, so that you can send in if you want to take part of the show and tell. So the show and tell is available on my Instagram for 24 hours after the art class, if you send in your, your artworks. Remember to tag me in your stories. Okay, next what we'll do. I think we should add the white sun. So many times when we paint, we make the sun yellow, but I am actually gonna make it white this time. And I'm adding it roughly over here and just a tiny little sun right there. There we go. Tiny, tiny dot. Looks like it's super far away. Thank you, Emma. Am I saying it looks great so far? You're so talented. I don't know if I'm talented. I just enjoy painting, really. And I paint so much that, yeah, all my free time I spend painting. And now with the same white, because it's reflecting on the water, I am taking a small brush and I'm adding small, small lines. So it's like shimmering here on the water. There we go. Tiny, tiny glim there in the water. And then, so I, I'm using quite a few different brushes. So I'm using one for, for the darker ones and one for the lighter ones. So sometimes when I'm talking, I get a bit confused because I'm like, hey, what brush am I holding? Dark or bright, and this one is getting a little bit messy. Okay, let's put some dark inside of this wave. I am so excited to see how your paintings turn out afterwards.
I think last time we had around 20 kids uh, painting along. So let's see how many we have this week. And if you're watching and if you want us to see that you're watching, do comment in the chat box because now I can only see numbers. I can't see who's actually watching. So do let me know if you're there. Say hello and let me know how old your kids are. If they're painting along. Okay. So now again, I'm taking the white brush and I'm adding a bit of white here and there on the waves. This is gonna splash a bit like that. Sometimes I try to speed up the painting a bit when I'm painting live, but I'll try not to do that because then it doesn't turn out that great. So Hope you're being patient with me. I know that it takes a while to make all of these details, but I just try to show you as good as I can how to make a realistic seascape. So you can see this one splashing up here. I think we could make another splash wave maybe on the other side. So I'm adding a bit of blue here as well. I don't know, you can see this color, um, color wheel as well, right? So that's quite helpful when you're mixing shades to remember where on the color wheel it is and which colors uh, go well together. Usually you would choose see the colors that are close by, or if you want more contrast, you use the opposite ones. So orange and blue, purple and yellow, red and green. And on, then of course, we've got plenty of different shades different saturations and different value to the paint as well. Now, what was I saying? <laughs> I was doing that way over here. Gonna add a little bit more dark in here. Like that, a little bit of a bump, like a little hill. There, then you'll pull it to the side like that. And then small lines here closer by as well. And then I'll add more white to that. So here, why don't we add some blue here as well. So this is the part that comes up on the beach. There we go. Let's see what message is. Hello, greetings from Kokkola. Hey, hey, Kokkola. Vad roligt att ni är med. Jag antar att ni är finlandssvensk. Väntas nu, torsk på media. Jag får säkert tänka vem ni är. Um, är du påkig kanske? Ah, jag har fått känna att det skulle kunna vara påkig. Okej, okay, let me go back to English now. Ant is watching. <laughs> um, let's see who else. Viro, yes, påkig. I am good at guessing, am I not? Okay, so someone is being a little bit nasty right now. I'm just going to ignore you. This is a child-friendly, family-friendly channel so um if anyone can block this guy i would be very pull up I'm just gonna ignore him and carry on so i am adding some white to here and fading it out a bit like that and then let's take some other shades and 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 add some white to these ones. Like that. To make a little bit of a splash in the water. And then, what else could we do to this? I'm gonna add some white over here. Simone, I don't know if Simone is there or if she left the kids to paint. Um, do you know how to report 
messages if you could do that. I don't know if you can. I think I need to add you as a moderator so that we can just get rid of nasty people. It's just a shame that some people want to spoil it for everyone else. But I'm just going to ignore that. And uh, also, if your kids are watching, just don't let them use the chat right now because someone is trying to be, be annoying. Never mind. So we're just going to continue painting these waves. And then I'm going to add some white to the front. And then make this part over here. So I'm adding white all across from side to side like this. And all the way to this side as well. I won't be following the chat for a while now until people get bored of being nasty, but please do still follow along and continue with your painting. That's the thing with doing public classes is that anyone can join and yeah, we got all sorts of people in this world. So let's see. I think for next week I will be um, adding some, some moderators to this chat so that they can block people that aren't respectful. But meanwhile, let's just ignore them. I am going to add some more white all the way to the sides as well. There. And then if we add a little bit of a line here with a darker shade, then that will bring a little bit of a shade to this side and it will look a bit more realistic as well. I wonder if Caleb is, um, is Caleb painting a ship on his sea? Did you start doing that yet, Caleb? Oh, there we go. It's looking fairly okay, I would say. I'm just gonna add How do I add you as a moderator, Simone? Let me see if I can just click on your name. Let's see if, we, if it will be that easy. I don't really know how to do that. Let's see, maybe from here. And then, I'm not quite sure how to do that. I mean, I see the participators, but I'm not sure how to add you as a... Let's see, it's not working, Simone. Oh, there we go. There you are, Simone, you're a moderator. <laughs> And let's just block that guy for now. So let's hope that worked. Yeah, so I found a way to block this guy. Let's hope that he doesn't come on with, with another account. Sorry about that, people are online. They just don't have anything better to do. So just, just come to try and spoil for everyone else. But hey, let's ca carry on painting and pretend that didn't happen. So again, more and more layers on top of each other. Um, like that. I guess I need to make a little bit more details to this as well. And yay, Simone, it worked. Excellent. Thank you so much. Hey, Creations, thank you so much for joining. And Michelle is here as well. Um, <clears throat> thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So, let's see. I need to make a little bit of a shade here, and I'm going to use a tiny bit of brown. 
Let's see if I take, I'll take a different brush so I can keep that one for the white. Sometimes it's annoying when you use the same brush for the same paint and then if you didn't wash it really properly and you're using white, the dark color comes through and just spoils your picture. So make sure that you paint, wash your brush really, really well in between or use different. If you have more than one brush, use different um, brushes for different details. Now I'm just adding a tiny, tiny bit of brown shade to here. And let's see. Just a tiny shade right here. It might be that that one is a little bit too dark. So I'm just adding a little bit of brown to here. Hi, I am Jackson. Hello, hello. Thank you for joining. Are you painting with us today or just taking a break? <clears throat> I am now adding a little bit, let's see, we have 16 people watching now, that's really good. Thank you everyone for joining. And do you remember, if you make this picture or any other picture during this session, do send it in to me because it makes me super happy to see what you've been painting. And now I'm just adding the line, just shade all the way down there. I think we might need to blend that in a little bit. I don't know if you can see it clearly enough, but on my side, it looks a little bit too rough. So I'm blending it in a little bit like that with the sand color. Like this. To make a really soft and gentle um, edge. There we go. If you missed last week's session, there is still, it is still up for replay and we then, oh, I actually have it here. Let me show you. You guys made such lovely paintings and uh, I hope that you find a way to frame them as well because they look so amazing. And I loved all the ones that you sent in as well. So I'll put mine in a frame here. And this is a frame that I keep changing the image. And so if this painting that I'm doing now turns out good enough, then I'll change it for that one. So if you want to paint that landscape, it is still available for replay on the page. So just go to the to the main to the main channel. And you can find it there. And just keep playing around with these shades a little bit until you find the right type of way for your C. Okay, Visca C. Do we have any more Swedish people watching? We have Theo Tindra, and if Pork is still there, he's also Feno Swede like me. Um, do we have any other Swedish people watching right now? I know some of you are from the UK. I know Jessica is from the UK. Sina is from the UK. Um, Sesti Girl Michelle is from Australia. Baby Doll, now I need to remember. You are, you, you are in America, aren't you? I'm sorry if I remember wrong. Mina is here. Thank you for joining, Mina. It's so fun to see that you're here again this week point you joined but uh, are you painting along are your kids painting along thank you for sending in the pictures last time as well I love them and I still have the photos so I might actually create some sort of an online um, online gallery, some kind some sort of a page on my website where I can post all of your beautiful paintings um, next why don't we make some mountains here on the background. I think here far in the distant background. So I'm gonna use a light blue and just make an outline like this. Make it more or less like a mountain up here. There we go. That is very, very light in color. You can barely see it, that's how far it is. <clears throat> I'm having a coffee right here as well, but I think mine is 
it's gonna go cold soon. Um, okay, so for this one, I think that paint had a little bit too much water in it. So I'm gonna take some new white, some thicker white, and this is acrylics, and mix it in with that blue. Thank you, Simone, for taking on the task of being a moderator. Now I'll learn something new again. So this is our third live class and I'm learning something new every time. So thank you for, so much for your patience as well. Now I know how to block people. And unfortunately, well, I prefer not needing to do that, but sometimes you don't have an option. I guess some people have it coming. JJ is here, thank you so much. How are you today, JJ? Are you painting? Okay, there's a little mountain there in the far distance and I am now going to add a little bit of... Yes, I am, unfortunately. They might actually still be watching even though they're blocked on the chat, so I'm just trying not to speak about it too much, but let's just ignore them and carry on. You know how the world is, right? There are all sorts of people. Hey, Costello, thank you for joining. I'm very good, thank you. How are you today? Costello is an artist as well. He does fabulous artwork, so do check him out. Now, because the sun is on this side over here, these mountains will have the shadows on the opposite side. So a little bit of shadow here and there. And then we could add some highlights to the other side. There we go. Let's see, we got the white over here. So I'll take a little bit of white on the brush and adding some. Now I know this is quite advanced for the youngest kids and don't take pressure kids if you're painting. Do uh, make it in your style and it doesn't have to look like my picture. You can use your way of painting and add different things to the picture like, I don't know, trees or boats or uh, animal creatures, whatever you wish to add. Okay. That's a little bit of mountains there in the far distance. Um, thank you so much. Uh, Costal is saying that it's a very beautiful picture. Uh, and he knows Jessica as well. They're saying hi to each other. Now I am thinking if I make a little bit of a um, light shade of white around the sun. What do you guys think? I should have probably done first. Um, but, 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 let's see. <clears throat> Just gonna add a little bit of, see how that looks, oh, that is too blue. I'm not gonna add that over there. Never mind, ignore that. It's not there, okay? <laughs> you can't see that. <laughs> um, what else should I add to this painting? I could make those lines a little bit better. So I'm taking some blue, one, two, three, four. I'm using some water paint, watercolor. Adding a bit of gray to it. And let's see if I add some more shade. Jessica, are you still painting or did you say yours is done? Simone, how are the kids doing? Is uh, Neva still painting? Caleb painting? Yes, I like that actually. That's a nice shade for the wave. I'm just gonna blend it out with a little bit of water like that and pull it to the side like this make a quite a natural fade into the water there we go i like that how about that isn't that a nice shade wow <laughs> you never know. another thing that i always teach in my art classes with the kids is um when you're painting, have fun with it. Sometimes it works out, other times it doesn't turn into anything. And don't take it too seriously. You will learn as you go along. And then 
Yeah, be happy with yourself when it works out and be compassionate with yourself when it didn't turn out exactly the way you wanted it. But I quite like this shade. So it has a little bit of gray to it and it gives a little bit more um, shadow to these waves. As mentioned before, I can paint for hours and hours. If you finish before, don't worry about it. Just send me in, send in the pictures afterwards because I want to see them. But other than that, don't feel like you have to stick around if you finished it. I will carry on for a bit longer. We've been on for 45 minutes now. So this is what we created in 45 minutes. And there is just something so relaxing and fun about painting. I could do it all day long if I could, if I didn't need to do anything else. Sometimes I do that. I have days when I just paint all day. And this shade looks quite nice mixed in with this other shade. So I'm adding a little bit more to get some more structure to it. Let me see what you said. Neva gets so upset as she feels Caleb is better than hers. Oh, bless you, Neva. Do you know what? You do the best that you can do, and then you will learn the more you paint. And Caleb is a little bit older than you, so it's normal that he paints a little bit better. But you don't need to compare yourself with him. And maybe he can show you as well how he made his, and then, then uh, you can learn from him. Caleb, can you show Neva sometimes? Give her a little bit of help sometimes. It's really nice, Neva, to have a brother that, that can teach you things. And I've seen how much he helps you sometimes as well. So, Rick is here. Hi, Rick. Thank you so much for joining. Rick is saying, very nice seascape. Thank you, lovely. Um, I've, been, I've been working on this for a while now, and I'm just adding layers and layers to it to just see what works best. So I added a tiny bit of black to the blue to this, get this shade. And then I'm adding it to the shadows of these waves. Like that. I think we could add some here as well. Theo and Tinder, are you still painting? Are you still out there? Or did you give up on us? I think because now in, for two weeks we've done quite, I don't know, like grown up images. I think next time we could make a little bit more kid friendly. And I also need to think about some crafting. Maybe you want to do some crafting for one session. But I think I'll do a poll here on the, on the page on my channel and see what guy, what you guys want to do and if you have some ideas please let me know in the chat box as well because I mean I'm doing this for you so if it's something that you would like to see or something that um, your kids would want to do let me know and I'll see what I can do about it now I'm adding more white to the picture I could also make some clouds, but I quite like the clear sky as well. It's been very clear. The sky has been super clear now in London for nearly five weeks. And that is so incredible because usually it's so gray here. You can't see a blue sky very often. So clear sky for nearly five weeks. We had like one or two days when it was a little bit gray, but other than that, it's been absolutely amazing. And it makes this whole lockdown time much more nice than just that grim gray and rain. Yes, that's that. Oh, I know what we need to do. Do you know how to make this look even more realistic? We need to add a tiny bit of that sky pink because it's reflecting in the water, isn't it? So if I take some, some of this lightest pink that I have here on the sky. Just add a tiny bit here and there. It's actually going to make the picture look a little bit more realistic. 
just a tiny, tiny bit makes quite a big difference. If you don't see all the details now on the image, on the video, I will post a picture of the finished painting as well on my Instagram. And yeah, there you can see the details more there. There we go. A little bit of pink in the water. Jessica is saying, I have to pop off, but we'll leave running in about. Okay, Jess, post your picture. I'm looking forward to see it. Um, how are you guys doing? Did you finish your pictures or? Ian is saying, a lighthouse on rocks. Shall I make a lighthouse? But it's just, this one is just so far away. So I'm not sure if a lighthouse would even show. It would be super tiny. I was thinking about making a swan because I've been so into swans lately since my walks. And I don't know if you saw my video that I posted about all the swans in, in Hyde Park. They're so gorgeous and they're so peaceful and they're just laying there. So um, I was thinking to paint one. But I think maybe I just leave this as a landscape like this and not add anything more to it. Caleb, did you make a ship? This is still painting. So in my quicker sketch, I made a ship like that. And you can see I made the swans here as well, this one, just practicing the shapes for a swan. But I'm not sure if I should add any type of ship because it might smudge it a bit. I think maybe it could be finished like that. What do you think? Is it finished? Do we need some more waves? Maybe a tiny, tiny bit of a cloud somewhere wouldn't be too bad. As long as you get it to blend in a little bit. A tiny cloud somewhere here. Because the sun is now here the lighter part of the cloud will be towards the sun like this. So I'll just make a little bit of this white fluff like that. And when you paint clouds, you want to make little circle movements to get that fluffy kind of feeling to it. And then I'll take some pink to add the shirt. I think this is way too pink. Oh, not too bad. Then I blend it in with the white like this. Now, kids, if you feel like this, let's do something more simple next time. And I thought maybe actually we could do um, an under the sea, sea uh, picture. We've been doing that in my private Zoom classes now, and the kids quite like that. The fun thing with Zoom is that I can see them as well when they paint, which I can't do now. Um, can only see the chat box, but that is why it's lovely that you send in your, your pictures afterwards as well. I'm adding a little bit of shade to this cloud. So just like with the waves, you can paint clouds forever and just keep adding to them. But yeah, it's not so precise. I think that can be it. And maybe a little bit more highlights. So yeah, why don't we do a little bit more kid-friendly session next time? And we can do some crafting and under the sea picture. What do you think about that? Let's see what you guys are saying in the chat. Um Caleb is still busy. Caleb asked if you are doing a ship. 
I think you asked, asked that quite a while back. Maybe I should do a ship. Shall I just give it a go? I know that you are so good at, at painting ships and I'm not that great at it. <laughs> but uh, if I make a tiny one that is super far on the horizon, then let's see how it turns out. Small brush and I'm going one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10 around in my watercolor to get a strong, vibrant color. And then, me and I saying it sounds fun. Yeah, so let's do some crafting and I'll let you know in the event on Facebook as well if we are using some sort of recycled material from your household or how we're doing it. Um, so I'll think about something fun for you guys and then we can do it next week. So Caleb, I am now trying to make a ship. Please be kind with me if it doesn't turn out as good as yours, Caleb. Because you are great at painting ships. And what about you, Neva? Do you like painting ships? Well, what do you like painting, Neva? So here is the base for the ship. Can you see that? It's quite small. Oh, Thea and Tindra have finished and they are sending a big heart. Thank you so much for painting with us today, Theo and Tindra. Please send in your pictures. I love seeing how they turn out. So now I'm adding the details to this ship. And it has three lines like this. One, two, three. And I'm making it in quite light color so that I can correct the if I need to. And then let's add a little bit more black to it. How about that for a ship, Caleb? What do you think? Can you see it? It's so tiny. Let's add a little bit more color to it, like that one, two, three. I don't know why I'm speaking in the high pitch, just because it's tiny. <laughs> here and you see I'm using this fine tip to make these lines like that one two and three does that look like a ship to you would you recognize it as a ship oh I think I'm gonna add a little bit of a detail here on the tail as well like that there we go Yeah, then we need a reflection in the water. So once you paint a ship and the sun is on that side, will be here, a little bit of a shadow. I'm going to do that in blue. So just a little bit of a shade like that. And there we go. There's a tiny shade from that boat, that ship. Okay, I think that I'm gonna start calling this a day. It's actually a ship, but it doesn't look that big. Let me see if I'm closer without it collapsing completely on you. Let's see. Can you see this ship, Caleb? Here's the ship. And it has three masts. And I added a little bit of a shadow here. So it's a reflection on the water. And the mountains are up here. I think that, though it's a little bit tricky from this angle, I think that I need to make a little line somewhere here. Here. Just a tiny little detail, like that. There we go. And then the last thing that I'm adding to this little, little painting is to make it look a little bit more like a fantasy picture, 
Now it looks quite realistic, but I like to add these tiny little dots, white dots. Don't know if you can see them that clearly on the video, but I'm adding small dots like that just to get it a little bit. There we go. I like adding dots like that. Now I was thinking, shall I add um, rays to the sun as well, or just leave it like that? In my sketch earlier, I did add, but it starts to look cartoonish. So if you want a realistic sun, don't add it. And if you want to make it a little bit more kid friendly or cartoonish, then you add rays to the sun as well. Could add a little right around it at least. There we go. Now, have you learned anything today? Um, or have, has your paintings turned out the way you wanted them to? I hope so. And I hope to see your ship, Caleb, later if you made one. And name as well, of course. Your picture too. And I've been seeing that Neva has been painting with his her dad. Haven't you? You guys do a lot of fun activities together, you and, you and your dad, Neva, don't you? Okay. I think that I'm going to start calling it a day. I keep saying that and I keep <laughs> painting on top of it. Guys, don't feel like you have to stick around if you have things to do. I do understand. I'm just like that. I just love painting. So I keep adding to it and building up the layers. And uh, yeah, I'm just adding a little bit of blue here and the light blue now this time. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. We still have 16 people watching. I hope that you guys are saying hello in the chat as well so I can see who's there and let me know how your paintings are turning out. Um, I'm adding a little bit more white. It's fun with this white because it makes it look quite realistic when you add these splashes to this. So just small little dots and it looks like the water is splashing. Like that. I use quite a dry brush and thick white if you're doing this. So that it looks like these drops are Splashing. Just spread it a bit like that. Okay. I think our painting is finished. I'm gonna move it a little backwards again. There we go. Did you, by the way, notice that we're not in my art studio? We are in my kitchen and living room, like last time, because it's closer to the Wi-Fi, and I just hope... Did the image stay clear for all of you this time? I hope so. That would be fantastic. Fingers crossed. So now I'm removing the tape. I need to buy more of this painter's tape, because I nearly finished it now. That's why I only put on the top and on the bottom. You see it comes off really nicely and it doesn't rip the paper. So I just pull it gently like that to the side and then it leaves a fairly neat edge to the paper. And you see the paper is also not getting too wobbly. It's uh, quite a thick paper. It's called mixed media paper and it's good for water paints and it's good for acrylic paints and anything really, it's thick enough for anything. So that is our picture for today. Can you see the ship now? I'll put it a bit closer. There it is. 
And there's not much details to it, but uh, it's a ship anyways. So next time, next Saturday, I will be doing these um, ongoing. I mean, on Saturdays, 2 p.m. BST. So uh, yeah, just stay tuned for next week. If you want to come and paint along, do get your painting materials ready. Um, usually we use the soap paper and water paint and, and whatnot, but we we'll, might do some some crafting as well for the kids next week. So stay tuned for that. Please hit the like button on your way out. And yeah, subscribe to the channel if you're new here. Let me know what you thought about the session and if you have any kind of feedback on what I could improve on or what you think was good about this class. I would love to hear that as well. Any kind of feedback is welcome. So yeah, other than that, thank you everyone so much for joining the class today. Remember, at LDN Art Nanny for, for Instagram. So show me how yours turned out on there. And then I've got a video coming up this week for, where is my book? It's over here. The one that I painted in here already. I've showed you before, I think. So I'm gonna post a tutorial about this one. And you know it's a bit different when you paint uh, when you paint when you're not on live. And this one I took my time with, so yeah, I'll I'll post a tutorial for that one and add it on here probably on Wednesday or Thursday. But other than that, have a lovely, lovely weekend. Thank you so much for joining this time, and um, yeah, speak to you very soon. Bye. I need to wash my hands. Bye. <laughs> There we go.